This is an average American city. It is nearly midnight. The last show is almost over. Traffic in general is homeward bound. In this city, as everywhere, incidents are occurring every hour. Yes, every minute. Take the case of Joseph P. Downey. What is about to happen to Joe could happen to you, or me, or anybody. Well, you're a lucky stiff to have a wife and a good cook all rolled into one. That's what I keep telling him. Look, don't spoil her. She's tough enough to get along with now. <laughs> anyway, the meal was wonderful, Joni. You can take a bow. Ah, uh, well, I was a little worried. Bill didn't know if you liked garlic or not, so I put in just a little. Darling, there's no such thing as just a little garlic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good night, kids. See you at the office, Bill. You sure you don't want me to drive you home? Yeah, you wouldn't mind, would you, honey? Oh, uh, it's only a couple of bucks in the bus. I need a little walk to settle that spaghetti. Uh, you better let me drive you home. You might miss that last bus. So what if I do? I'll walk in the streetcar and grab a cab. You better hit the sack. You've got to get up in the morning. <laughs> Night, kids. Night. Good night, Joe. That's how it all started. With Joe's decision not to let Bill drive him home.